Channel 2 News continues with Chief Meteorologist Mike Alger's Pinpoint 2 forecast, broadcast certified by the American Meteorological Society. You know, it's a good thing we have instruments and satellites and things like that, because if you're to look outside right now, you will certainly not get much of an indication that we have some pretty good winter weather coming our direction. Not real cold winter weather, but it is a good storm that's going to tap into a lot of moisture, although we've cleared out. A lot of times that'll happen before the approach of a storm front here. We get a little bit of a dry slot in front of it. Today, a few clouds here and there. They actually became less prevalent as the afternoon wore on, and we pretty well cleared everything out at this hour. Outside right now, our temperature is 52 degrees under clear skies. Relative humidity is up a little bit. The dew points in the upper 30s here after the rain over the weekend we still have a little more moisture in the air than certainly we had before the rain. 57% relative humidity. Barometer hadn't moved. We got a northeast breeze at about 6 miles per hour. High today 57 and a low of 37. So again, well above average by 8 degrees here, although nowhere near the records uh, like we did hit last week. Uh, low temperature again on the warm side of average. We did have some clouds last night. We're going to be colder tonight and then we're going to start to see these systems begin to move in here. Now it has cleaned out our air. We have a green light for the burn code across the region. All right, now we've talked a little bit about some of the warnings. Now keep in mind, everything under the pink is under now a winter storm warning. That winter storm warning is only in effect for those areas above 7,000 feet because I don't even think at Lake Tahoe level itself you're likely to get much snow. It's mostly going to be rain, but we also, under the green, and that includes a section of the winter storm warning, lower elevations, there is that flash flood watch that has been posted. That is mostly in effect for those areas affected by the Rim and the King fire and the other fires that were burning here. Uh, uh, most of that on the west side of the crest of the Sierra. So here's that low and it's fairly impressive and it's also impressively tapping into this moisture plume here out of the tropics and the subtropics. So this is going to get combined here. It's got enough cold air that'll bring snow levels probably down to about 7,000 feet. Could be as high as 7,500, but the over over the top of the main passes here, once this gets in close enough to start precipitating, I wouldn't be surprised if at the top of Donner starts raining tomorrow afternoon, then tomorrow night turns to snow and that'll be the first of two almost one right after the other systems that come in that really won't start to clear up much until we get to Thursday and that's when uh, we'll start to see things break up and it'll continue that way for the weekend. 40s and 50s in the southern half of the state here. Again, not brutally cold by any stretch. We'll see a lot of low 50s or upper 40s across the north. In Reno tomorrow, our temperature is cer certainly cooler than today, but even a degree above average, nothing unusual. 50 for our uh, high tomorrow, 34 for our low, 48 in Carson City. And again, temperatures up at Lake are going to be just about the same, maybe a few degrees cooler than down here. So tonight for Tahoe, clouds will increase. We're not going to have much evening wind here. They may pick up out of the south to 10 late tonight. A low of 30. Then in the morning, pretty good chance of rain at the Lake Tahoe with the snow coming in later in the day. The strongest part of it really not till later in the afternoon. Snow level at 7,000 feet to 7,500 feet. And above that is where the winter storm warning is. We'll have a few clouds coming in late tonight. A cool low of 34, but not all that frigid. High tomorrow, 50 isolated showers in the morning, but rain is likely for us by the afternoon. Also likely on Wednesday here with a few showers maybe dribbling over into Thursday. How much snow could we get above 7,000 feet up on the ridge tops by the time Friday rolls around? You could have three, four feet of snow out of all this when you add it up wow. all together. At Lake Tahoe, Probably little to none because again, snow levels are probably going to likely be at or above Lake Tahoe all week long. Well, it's still good for the ski resorts. Yeah, to get exactly. The you get up there, and that's certainly going to give a kickstart to a lot yeah. of those areas up there. Good enough. Thank you very much, Mike. You bet.